Flame Imp into Scarlet into Tap into Scarlet Crusader maybe is a thing. Maybe, maybe we have some early game here. Necrotic Geist. Definitely not the ideal <laughs> card to have. There's a lot of non-ideal cards to have in this deck. My five favorite games? Oh my goodness. Um, I think we talked about it last time, how... I mean, I think we just trade here. There's no reason not to. We can only get punished, I think. And we're trading a one drop for a two drop. I think I would say, we talked about this last time, how Final Fantasy 1, the original one for NES, has to be up there. Final Fantasy 6 has to be up there for me. Um, uh, I'm going to develop the stronger minion here because now this is awkward for the pings for our opponent. Yeah, Final Fantasy 6 has to be up there. Original Final Fantasy for the NES has to be there. Chrono Trigger is probably there. Arcane Explosion is brutal for us, because now our opponent can still just ping next turn. Uh, I'll develop a, a bigger AoE threat, as opposed to going slightly stronger on the board right now. Uh, what did I say? NES, Final Fantasy 1, Final Fantasy 6, Chrono Trigger. Um, That's a reasonable tap. I'm going to go ahead and knife juggler just to make things a little awkward here. Fan's actually okay. So that's three games right there. Mm. I mean, WoW definitely holds a special place in my heart just because... Because of how, how much I played it, how long I played it. The fact that, you know, I love the, I love the tie-in that it has with, you know... I love the time that Hearthstone has with WoW, I should say that properly. And I definitely, you know, the Angoro expansion, I was like, wait, there's all this great stuff in Angoro. Why didn't they just kind of tap into that? As opposed to making a whole bunch of new lore and stuff, which is cool, and they're totally entitled to. Um, but I just kind of would have preferred, is, is there going to be some silence? What else is going on? Cone of Cold? All right. Give me that 5-5. Five, five. Um, well, probably should be up there. Uh, we'll tap probably for the last time this game. And again, I didn't play around the proper positioning, but that might be okay. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm definitely missing... I'm definitely missing some other games, though. I mean, there was a time when I really, really loved the, uh, the Call of Duty games. Oh, this is really bad now. But I don't know that the Call of Duties go into top, like... Into, like, a massive top five list for me. I think Super Mario RPG is on the borderline. You'll see a trend here of all, like, RPG-style games. Uh, all horrible for streaming. I don't want to fan SI7. Bog is great. What, just slam Bog and go face? All right, you know what? I like that idea. I like that idea a lot, and thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Elias. Oh, Polymorph hurts. Although we're close to lethal. Uh, we are certainly a close to lethal, right? Like, we can go Peddler... SI7 and then face, I think. Need something unusual. Ha, this guy's tough. I know we could have gone two to face there, but I think I'd rather clear the board. <laughs> that's like that's always my thing where it's like I'd rather clear the board whenever I can, as opposed to uh, not doing that. I also really enjoyed Breath of Fire 2 for the Super Nintendo, but that definitely doesn't make a top 5 list. Doesn't even, I don't even think that makes my top 10 list. So um, Vanish? Uh, that's two more damage to face right now, friend. And Shiving of the Face. Can we top deck and Eviscerate for lethal, please? Um... Something. 
I think this is the most reasonable thing. Put more pressure on the board. We can still cycle if we need to with Fan. We can destroy a big taunt. <laughs> yeah, the coin is back. <laughs> yeah, the coin... The coin was probably a bad choice. Um, there's no doubt about that. Frostbolt would be awful. Is that well played? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That was a good win. That was a nice, just very casual. We tried to curve it out there. Took a win. And an easy death rattle discover. Oh. Deadly Fork is kind of neat. Bone Baron's pretty strong. The weapon just has really good potential. I I'm going to say we have enough late game. I want to not fall behind in the early game, and maybe that's wrong, but that's what I feel we should do. Uh, I think Mage will get back its power. You know what? I honestly think that... I mean, like, the OTK Mage, I mean, the other day Vito was joking about it, but... Yeah, the quest mage is like... The quest mage is still on the ladder and I think doing okay. That being said, I actually like the... Uh, I want to tap, but Flame Imp is too strong here. I think that... I, I prefer the OTK mage with Giants. As opposed to the infinite uh, Archmage version. Um, that being said, I think the Control Frost Lich is really just a few cards away. A little, I'm not sure what it is, honestly. I don't know what would be needed... It's going to be like some more mid-game. Yeah, I mean, we have this card too. Um, the option is like, do we want a fan of knives? And our opponent coined that out as well. Oh, if we can top deck our Shadow Bolt. That's not a Shadow Bolt. Um, you got Seeker Mage with Yogg and it's still working. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think we need to do better with Fan of Knives. Oh, yeah, yeah. Any, any of those spell-heavy decks can totally run. I mean, we can Deadly Fork for, like, some value. We can go Face and then Freeze. I think I like Fork more because... We can make it work. And if it's just a trade here, then we can maybe Fan of Knives to trade up. You know what I mean? Like, maybe, slash, hopefully we can do that. Yeah, I really like throwing Yogg in, or in like, my other decks, though. I think they're... Yeah. Really, really good. As oh boy. <laughs> well, there. Honestly, fan of knives. Oh, that's not even that bad. Like we could have had much worse turns right now. Uh, Plague scientist doesn't help us, so we tap first. Our opponent gained some armor, but we don't really care about that because in arena, like we need to outvalue. We just need to outvalue our opponent as much as we need to actually. Worry about, like, yeah. Like, if we have control of the game, we'll be able to beat down the armor anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh-oh. Got a taunt and divine shield? Oh. Oh, our opponent's going really greedy. Interesting. Interesting. Karakazam? Oh boy. Why did I draft this card again? What were the choices? This is a... This is a horrible... Choice, huh? We can fan... Trade... And I think we can play the weapon after that. And then take this out and take that out. And we'll have a little bit of a board. And yes, our opponent gets a million armor, but I really don't care. And it's a three mana weapon, which is great that we drafted this counterfeit coin for. Uh, let's do this trade properly. To give our opponent one less armor. And if this slows our opponent down, pinging down our flame imp, then we're very happy. And if they don't, well, then I guess we're also very happy. But there's no way they wouldn't take that super, super value, super value uh, ping there. Lowest cost minion in your hand. Hey, maybe this is going to be the quest mage that we kept losing to the other day when we were streaming. <laughs> that was so brutal. Oh, it was funny, though. It's funny now. Like, it's funny to look at it now. 
Uh, Shadow Bolt would have been good earlier. I think we just go with our most powerful minion. Need something unusual. Oh! Never mind! I forgot how good Ethereal Peddler is going to be. I totally forgot how this the wording of this card works. This is actually really good. Oh, so we can combo the uh, Karakazam Knife Juggler a little bit easier, which is very nice to very nice to be seeing right now. All non-rogue class cards. And we have quite a few Warlock cards in here. Yeah, absolutely, Elias. Yeah, this is... Oh. Four damage to face? Okay, our opponent's going to burst us down and we're going to lose. Um... That's unfortunate. Uh, do we go all in trying to win now? I guess so. Yeah, I mean, all they need is a fireball ping and we lose, right? That, that would be really unfortunate. I very, very, very likely though, right? I don't know how we even took that much damage that early in the game. What do we do? We attacked into the 4-3. That's also a good way for us to lose. Oh my goodness, can we win this way? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 times 3, 21. Oh, I think we can do this. I think we can win here. We can just win off of the Bitter Tide. <gasps> oh, baby, is this enough? <laughs> One, two, three. Three times three is nine. This is twelve. Four. Uh, should I even... Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on. Okay, wait, this happens every time. Uh, this is one, two, three. Wait, 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 we can do one more. Do the summons... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I can do this as well, though, for an extra ping, right? This happens every time. Does the Geist trigger, though, even if they're both dead? Necrotic Geist? This works? <laughs> okay, that ended up being not nearly as hard as I made it there. <laughs> I didn't know the necrotic geist would trigger that way, but yeah, that's a uh, that's a good point. Those were that was a couple extra. Oh my goodness! I'm sorry, everyone, that I made that so uh, <laughs> that I made that quite so uh, challenging there.